welcome to the second Teachers Today vlog. Hope you're well. So what we are going to look at in today's vlog is behaviour management. And we're going to look at those first meetings that you will have with students as a supply teacher. The key meeting going into a school. With my background in head of department, in leadership, I know what I was looking for from a supply teacher coming into my department or into my school. And I think it's important that we get an understanding of that. So schools are looking for those supply teachers or newly qualified teachers or teachers that are coming in for the first time. They are looking for the following things. They are looking for consistency. Consistency with your behaviour management. Consistency with your reward. They're looking to see that you're engaging with the students. Are you having conversations with the students? Are you making sure that they're focused on what they're doing? Are you roaming the classroom? Important. That's what schools will want to see. They will want to see that you are active in the classroom. And also, they'll want to see that you're personable, not only with staff, but with the students as well. It's really important that a school sees the person coming in as being flexible, thinking on their feet because things will go wrong and it's how you deal with them. That's looking at it from a school perspective. So let's look at it and turn it over now as that supply teacher or newly qualified teacher or teacher that's going into the school for the first time from another school, those first interactions, those first meetings with students. Now, as a supply teacher, as part of the company that I work for, Teachers Today, I'm the director, I go into schools and I do supply myself because I think it's important that I get a good understanding of the type of schools that my staff are working in. So as a supply teacher, I would make sure that I arrive to the school early. That is absolutely key because it gives you the chance just to settle down, to get your bearings, to know where the school is, to get, know where the car park is, to feel safe to go to the reception and find reception, all in a good amount of time. And the second thing that is really important coming into a school is understanding what the behaviour policy is. There's nothing worse than going in and having no idea. Now, most behaviour policies across schools are fairly similar. If you get a chance, what you should be doing is just having a conversation with the person that you're meeting, asking about behaviour, asking about the ward. What is their policy? Can you just summarise it for me extremely quickly? At least that will give you the confidence going into the school because the students don't know you. So as a supply teacher, you're there early, you've, you've had a little look around the school, you've, you've got your information regarding behaviour and reward. So what are you going to do on your first meeting with the students? So these are some top tips that I think uh, will benefit any teacher going in. The first one, make sure you're at the door welcoming the students in. Smile, say hello, say good morning, say good afternoon. But as they're coming through the door, you may well want to say, put your bags on the floor, put your coats behind you, sit down, look at the task on the board, please complete that. That is stamping your authority straight away, but in a nice way. And that's what's really key. Now, the students don't know you. They're going to be slightly nervous. You're probably slightly nervous as well. But this is the perfect time, that first meeting when the students are looking at you to get your expectations across. They will be quiet. They do not know you in the first instance. So this is when you will need to explain your expectations and keep the expectations simple. Number one, please put your hand up if you are going to contribute or ask a question today. Number two, while I'm talking as a teacher, please ensure that you are not talking. It's really important for your learning. And number three, let's be respectful with each other. From there, you have set your expectation. You have set your line in the sand. Now, you may also say that you've got an understanding of the behaviour policy. You know about rewards. You know about uh, sanctions. Just so the kids are, are aware that you've done a little bit of knowledge before coming in. You've understood what the school is about. Once you've done this, the register is a really good time to keep the students quiet, for them to be getting on with the task while you're doing the register. And if you notice that any students are talking at any point, 
absolutely stop. Go back to your expectations. Be consistent in your approach. It's extremely important. If you do these things, the lesson will flow. The students will know that they've got somebody in charge um, who is showing good skills, good leadership. And let's face it, what kids want, they want to be in a safe environment. That is key. They want somebody to manage the environment around them. Some other top tips for you is when you're in the classroom, make sure that you are being active, that you are roaming around the classroom. That is really important. Keep an eye on certain students, reward students, say well done, say congratulations on that piece of work. Reward is so important. And if you have to, overdo it. That is key. If you're roaming, if you're active, if you're talking, if they can see that you are owning the classroom environment, that for your initial first meeting will be extremely good. That will work for you. Now, obviously, if there are any major issues in the classroom, you just need to remain calm. You need to follow the behaviour policy. You need to make sure, if you have to, ask for help. It's not a failure. Asking for help is actually you doing your job. It shows that you care and it shows to the department and the school that you care. One thing that I would say, the fact is you don't know the students. Do not stand in a student space. Do not overpower a student. Sometimes if you're gonna to talk to a student and you're gonna sanction a student, sometimes it's better just to sit back. It's better to take the lower ground so you don't, that student doesn't feel uncompromised. These are all things that you do need to think about because these students have not met you. You need to remain calm at all times. You need to be assured, you need to be active, you need to be roaming. All of these things will make your lesson run smoothly. Now, I hope that's been of some help. Uh, that's quite long, but what I'm going to do is um, over the course of the next vlogs, I'm going to look a little bit more in depth at behaviour and, and certain instances that you can deal with. These are just some top tips for you. So um, if you do want to read any blogs on behaviour on the Teachers Today website, there's a number of blogs on there on behaviour and all sorts of other things regarding supply teachers. And I think the uh, next vlog that I'm going to look at is... Um, you as a supply teacher, what would you expect going into a school? I.e. what's the kind of information that you may get? So uh, look out for it. Um, it will be coming up in a week's time or so. I hope you enjoyed today. Any feedback, any questions, come through to teachers today. And if you're looking for any uh, jobs or positions, you're thinking about supply teaching or returning into teaching, please contact us at Teachers Today. That's www.teacherstoday.co.uk um, and you can ping us an email through the website. Okay, take care. See you soon.